showing you a Beyblade battle in my portable base stadium between time, twisted. No, twisted tempo, and gravity destroy you. Now gravity destroy is a little custom here. He has not his regular tips, and he'll not be on the eyes of Medusa part. He'll be on his just regular boat. Anyway, as you can see, gravity destroyer or gravity the Perse Perseus for you people in Japan has um, a little defense pieces here, not his regular attack pieces that are similar to a dragon. So we'll start this battle. These, we started a tournament, and these are the two big ladies that made it to the finals, ironically enough. So, this is the ripper I'll be using. Which is uh, my custom ripper made out of a remote controlled Beyblade with the thing switched out. Alright, ready? I still call it. I still think that Perseus has a wide defense there. And we'll be starting the battle. As soon as I get the Beyblade on the river. Have patience, guys. And three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah. Oh. Thank God I said it right. And Gravity Destroyer, we decided to go for a run. So we'll have to start it over again with uh, Twisted Tempo. <laughs> Alright, Tempo has a habit of doing this. We have other stadiums that we're going to use, you know, battle. And in the, future, uh, in the future episodes, we'll decide to get more base. Later, uh, well, as you can see, that was a really weak battle. As if this ain't enough. <laughs> yeah, please go back, go back, go back, go back. I just want to show them. As if this isn't enough. Our collection, the devil metal base we have, and all this, all our strength and power, you know. Let's get back to this battle before you guys, like, get tired. Anyway. The base spirit is real. We'll start with, uh, yeah, I actually have a very soft touch. We'll start with, oh yeah, one more baby lake, the you know, Salamander. But we'll start this battle, um, uh, with Twisted Zimbo. So we're gonna take two. Three, two, one, and it. And there goes Twisted Zimbo. Gravity Destroyer is summer or stat with uh, recoil and counter aren't that good because they're mainly an attack type. He can't really do much against Tempo's defense. So as you can see, Tempo has won. And um, I just want to... We, we aren't like most Ghibli cameras. We don't do two out of three most of the time. We and, usually uh, do a hundred out of three. 3, now, since uh, Tempo won, um, I'm just gonna give you a little backstory on Tempo. Uh, Tempo is uh, CAD 22s, which I go by Bear, he goes by CAD. Um, my channel, does, my idea. He does stamina and other things. I do battles and I do stat updates for the Beyblades. So, as you see here, uh, Tempo is like a clock. And when you take Tempo apart, eh. it's like um, a little, like I guess you could say, a temple with a clock on it. Has stairs. Now we believe it's a legend of some sort from like another country where there's some deep side tempo locked away. That shows to us, I don't know what you think. For example, I came up with the theory that the fusion wheel for tempo is a prison and the energy ring, which is a clock, is basically how much time they have left before they get out unless they are sentenced to life or some stupid crap like that. And the staircase is just people trying to escape, which uh, we have actually experienced our Beyblades yelping at us. And um, so uh, yeah, well, other than that, um, I'm gonna get a little Tempo's backstory. Tempo is a strong defense type, as you can see his performance tip. Also one of the heaviest Beyblades there are. Um, uh, after Kerbex, uh, Hades Kerbex. He's one of a close second maybe. And uh, 